And now to political matters. The National Executive Committee of the All Progressives Congress, APC, has transferred its powers to the National Working Committee for a period of 90 days. The party's neck transferred power during the 11th meeting of the committee, which was held at the National Transcorp Hotel in Abuja. At the meeting, the committee also approved the schedule of activities and timetable for the party's primaries in preparation for the 2023 general elections. Our correspondent, Abisola Adebayo, has the details in this report. President Mohamed Buhari arriving at the All Progressives Congress, APC's National Executive Council meeting in Abuja. It's the first meeting of party executives since its national convention in March. It's also the first under the Abdullahi Adamu-led National Working Committee with party leaders and stakeholders across the country all in attendance. The order of the day is to take critical decisions and resolutions that will set the pace for the party in preparations for the 2023 general elections. In his address, chairman of the party, Abdullahi Adamu, resounded the importance of unity if the party must continue in its winning ways. I recall Mr. President warning to us not to be unmindful of what happened to PDP in 2013-2014. Our party is not immune to a similar fate, should it allow itself to be factionalized and weakened by grievances that force the leaders and the members to pull in different directions. President Muhammadu Buhari also warned leaders of the party against the imposition of unpopular candidates for the elections. He says such dictatorial behavior had cost APC more than expected. This dictatorial behavior cost as many strategic seats in the past, in the recent past, this led to some of our strong members, unfortunately, often to go elsewhere because of unfairly oppressive behavior of party leaders at state level. I must caution strongly against any tendency towards developing cliques in fighting within the party. However, it seems leaders of the National Assembly are here to make case for their members in the forthcoming election. Senate President Ahmed Lawan explains that the Ninth Assembly has done everything to support the current administration. He says one good turn deserves another. We expect our party to also look at our members very favorably. Having done so much in terms of of performance and working <clears throat> very cooperatively and assiduously. So I think the present set of members of the National Assembly of APC stock deserve a very special, very special treatment. Survival and self-preservation is the first instinct of any human being. In terms of primaries, please let our members, I'm not asking for favors for our members, but let our members have a fair shake. At the end of the meeting, which lasted for over four hours, the committee resolved to sell the nomination forms for presidential aspirants for 100 million naira, while the party's forms for governorship aspirants was pegged at 15 million naira. Aspirants for the Senate, House of Representatives, and State Houses of Assembly were pegged at 20 million, 10 million naira, and 2 million naira, respectively. Abisola Adebayo, TV360 News.